first, just before noon Eastern time. It's the first day of hurricane season. And right on schedule, we have something to look at here in the Gulf of Mexico that I'm going to show you here in just a minute. First, I want to remind you that this is the Hurricane Center webpage, hurricanes.gov. This is a great place to go to to uh, stay up to date on uh, systems that we're watching that could go on and become tropical depressions or tropical storms and get all the forecast information you need for sort of the storm scale information. And you can always go to your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov for uh, local information in your area. What I want to point out is a product called the Tropical Weather Outlook. This is sort of our six hourly product. It comes out at 8 a.m. 2 p.m., 8 p.m., and 2 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time every six hours during hurricane season. And it's sort of going to tell you what's going on in the tropics in terms of systems that the Hurricane Center is monitoring. And right now we see an X here in the Gulf of Mexico, an orange X. And that is an area of low pressure that we're watching that has a medium chance of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm actually within the next couple of days. Um, if we look at the satellite imagery here, we can see this area of low pressure to the south of the Florida Panhandle. We're seeing shower and thunderstorm activity developing uh, relatively close to or a little to the north of the center. And we've seen it get a little better organized since yesterday. Uh, we're seeing buoy reports of winds of 30 to 35 miles per hour associated with that system. And it could go on and become a de tropical depression or tropical storm uh, as soon as later today or tonight as it sort of moves slowly across the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, by tomorrow, we're expecting the system to start to uh, drop southward a little bit and uh, not really gain too much strength if it does go on and develop. The biggest impacts from this system are going to be some enhanced rainfall across portions of the Florida Peninsula. We're looking at uh, rainfall totals over the next three days of one to two inches across portions of central and southern Florida. And there is a marginal risk of flash flooding everywhere in this green area from places like Miami, Tampa, Orlando, up into the, uh, the Appalachian Bay region of uh, central and southern Florida, Lake Okeechobee area as well. So we could see some isolated flash flooding due to heavy rainfall from this system, uh, broadly associated with this system. So stay tuned for uh, potential updates on this system later today. We are actually going to have a, a Hurricane Hunter aircraft flying into this system uh, by mid-afternoon, and it'll give us some additional data on um, whether we uh, do have a tropical depression forming. But again, expect it to stay offshore uh, at this point. Uh, just a reminder, too, that we are at the beginning of the hurricane season. Uh, we are expecting from NOAA's seasonal hurricane forecast a, a near normal level of activity this season, which isn't great news. That's 12 to 17 named storms of tropical storm strength or greater, five to nine of those becoming hurricanes, one to four of those becoming major hurricanes. So again, as we get into hurricane season today, this is a reminder to know your risk, know if you live in a storm surge evacuation zone, get your hurricane plan and your hurricane supply kit in place as we move into the hurricane season. And stay tuned for more updates from the National Hurricane Center. We'll be here all season with you. So I'm Mike Brennan signing off for now.